Hey guys, it's been a while since I dropped some content, but I ran into a really neat hand this morning and thought I would share it with you. Actually, there are two really neat hands, and this is the first of two short videos I'm going to make. So this one, uh, in honor of the Braves, almost having clinched the division, and hopefully I see them win it on the field tonight against Philadelphia here in Atlanta in our Airbnb that we've spent some time at this summer. Um, in, it, in honor of them, we're going to call this video a brave play because the declare North K Joyce made a super brave play at trick one that could have actually like won a full board for her here. So you'll see the auction. Uh, they get to six, no Trump, you know, it's pretty reasonable the way that they got there. It just turns out that the defense has the cashing ace king of spades. If we could see each other's hands. Right. Um, and, you know, you do have that, you know, I'm, I'm sure North hoped that maybe South had a seventh club or something like the King of Spades, in which case the contract would be a very good one. Uh, but what happened was my partner led Jack of Hearts from the East Hand against Six No Trump. That's a totally normal lead. You want to be passive against Six No Trump. And the Jack of Hearts is absolutely the passive card that you can lead. So he did that. And what you need to do is North here is count your tricks. You have six club tricks. You have three diamond tricks. You have two heart tricks. And that's it. Okay, you just have 11. Um, and we know that like when we need 12 tricks, uh, the idea usually is to try and lose one um, early. And a couple of things could happen here. So let me tell you first what the wrong way to approach this is. The wrong way, first of all, starts with not counting your tricks. All right. And in order to inform yourself of the right way to play hands, you've got to count tricks, got to count tricks, right? And here we would come to the conclusion, all right, well, we've only got 11, I don't really see a 12. Um, and you kind of just give up and cash out and maybe hope that your opponents have a stroke or something. That's not a good way to play bridge. A better way to play bridge here is to realize, huh, what if I ducked this trick? What would happen? And the fear part of your brain is going to go, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, they're going to catch the ace of spades. I'm going to be down. Well, so what, right? You're already down. And then the other fear part of your brain goes, but they could catch the ace king of spades. And if I gave them the heart, I'd be down two. If you go down one here, guys, it's the same score as down two. Okay. No minus score is going to be worth anything when you've got this much stuff on the offense. You're going to be competing with three no trumps right? Making five. Uh, probably no one is going to be in six, and therefore it doesn't matter if you're down one or down two. So what Kay did here was an extremely brave play. Get it, brave? She ducked the opening trick from both hands. And what would you do if you were east? I would certainly continue hearts. I would certainly continue hearts if I only had three of them. Say I had jack, ten, nine of hearts, and the five of hearts was a spade. And what would happen here if I continued hearts and they were actually 3-3? Three, three? I'd be handing to Claire her contract, right? Because the hearts break at this point and we, we get 12 tricks. There's no way in the world that I would lead away from the king of spades here. Okay, no way in the world. I'm just playing a second heart. Now, if I've got the ace of spades, she's out of luck. But the key part is appreciating that she hasn't risked anything, right? She's, she's given herself her only chance of 12 tricks. Um, and if you go down two, it doesn't matter. Going down two is the same as going down one. Uh, the other thing that could happen is, say, you know, they continue hearts at trick two. It's possible that you could end up with a heart spade squeeze. Um, although that's maybe going to be tricky with the entries. Um, something good could happen, say, if West has the ace, king of spades and the, the heart length. But probably the biggest horse you have running here is that hearts are 3-3. Three, three. The spade king or the spade ace is with the person not on lead, and they continue hearts and just give us the contract. Okay, so a lot of key points here. Count your tricks. Don't waste your time fretting that you're in a contract that can't make. Sometimes you can fool your opponents into helping you. Um, here, if the hearts were 3-3 three, three, and, and she ducked it and East had the same exact hand but only three hearts, he would continue hearts almost 100% of the time and hand you the contract. And there is no other way to get a 12th trick. Don't be a weenie and say, oh my God, I'm going to go down two possibly when they catch the ace king of spades. Think about getting into your opponent's heads and ask what you would do in their situation and realize that this is your only play 
for 12 tricks is to make the counterintuitive play of ducking the heart at trick one. Here, nothing materialized. She still went down one, 100% points for effort here at making an unmakeable contract. Count your tricks. When you've got 11, lose one as early as you can. Put yourself in your opponent's shoes. Realize that down two is the same as down one. And don't play bridge like a freaking Frady cat. Have some courage. All right, guys. Go Braves tonight. This video has been called a brave play, which it certainly was by expert declarer Cage. You'll be here. And I'll make another video for you guys in just a second.